Hello out there YouTube. This is uh, Mike and I thought I'd post a little update of my forge burners. I have a, a forge building workshop coming up in a couple of weekends so I got a head start on, on, on the burners and I thought I'd go over this real quick just to give you an update. Um, forge has been working really good. Um, Weekend before last, I burned it for over six hours straight, mostly with one burner, two burners at times, uh, and used just about 25 pounds of, of propane. And uh, so, so that was pretty good. And, and so I wanted to go over this kind of from top to bottom here. Um, starting at the top, this is a quarter inch female internal pipe threads that goes to quarter inch uh, OD uh, for copper tubing to hook up to your gas supply. And then that connects on to this piece here, which is a just a, a regular quarter inch galvanized uh, pipe nipple. This one is four inches long. And then that gets just uh, put in the vise and I take a die, quarter inch die, and run it down the length of, of that nipple. And that gives me this piece here. And then later on in the process, this will be cut off. Uh, I, I get them extra long to start so I could uh, cinch them down in the vise and do whatever machining I have to do to get them wh where I want them to be. And then, uh, and then they get cut off and I take the die and clean up the threads a little bit. So that's how I get that piece there to connect up here, just a lock nut. And then this piece here is a, a bracket that I cut out on my CNC table. And it's a piece of 3 16 inch steel that starts out flat and I cut those relief lines in there so it, it's a guide so I know where to bend it. And then after it gets welded onto the onto the redu reducer, then the whole thing gets chucked up in the lathe, and um, and that's how I get that part uh, lined up perfectly with the pipe nipple. Uh, that's very important. You want that lined up as precisely as possible down the bore of that pipe nipple uh, for efficiency and 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 the quality of your of your flame uh, that that's huge really need to have that lined up really well so we run that through there hit it with a with a lock nut and then this is a piece of quarter inch that I also cut out on a plasma table and then I chucked up in the lathe center drilled and tapped on the lathe so uh, the really the really good thing about working with a lathe to build these is is that it's just so accurate and um, you know a, every bit of accuracy on on these uh, really translates in, into a better flame so I found I found these these reducers inch and a half to three quarters and just happens to be Anvil brand made in the USA what could be better than that right so I take these, I chuck them up on a on on a on a pipe nipple, put them in the in the lathe, turn them down, face them so that I get a good a good contact between the choke. And then one other thing that I do, I don't know if we get see in here very well. I also machine out the threads on the inside of, of that uh, reducer just to smooth out the airflow. And that seems to really make a difference from the earlier versions that I did where I didn't remove those threads to this one. Uh, this version really, really makes a big difference. And then down in the bore, you could see the, the brass uh, cap that was uh, also on the lathe, chucked up on a quarter inch pipe nipple and then drilled and tapped to uh, quarter inch 28 threads for the 030 uh, MIG tip which is what I use for, for this setup. And for the, uh, the amount of airflow 
that goes through this and and the size of the of the nozzle 030 seems to to be the most efficient and speaking of that okay so we go with a three quarter inch by eight inch pipe nipple and then that goes into my into my flare which i constructed by taking this uh three quarter inch weld on fitting and 1.9 inch outside diameter stainless steel tube 304 l stainless and then i cut i cut that to length set that on there and that gets welded together and then again i go back to the lathe and i, I and i turn that down and and uh, just dress it up a little bit so it looks good so th this is about two and a half inches in length and that seems to be um, a perfect size uh, assuming that in your forge you're going to go with with two inches of kale wool that way you, you drill your hole run this down through the kale wool to where it just barely comes through maybe just a little tiny bit of a lip eighth of an inch or so or just even with it is is good and then that gives you a little bit for mounting and tack welding uh, where it comes through the body of, of the forge so no, nothing special other than that just just, just a 1.9 inch outside diameter stainless steel and and this design um, seems to be just really efficient it burns really well it burns hot uh, absolutely no problems at all getting up to forge welding temperatures if you if you have uh, your forge size properly to the to this burner um, again my forge is 16 inches square um, exterior dimensions and and one of these will just about get it to to forge welding temperature Two of them, I, I, I could run beyond forge welding temperatures, no problem. 24, 2500 degrees, it's, it's not an issue. So it, it, it is a really good, efficient design. And these are the burners that we'll be using for the forge building workshop on the 22nd of this month. So I will be shooting a video of, of, of that workshop, and I'll post that, uh, uh, different portions of it, and, of course, the finished product. So... I just wanted to share this this um, this burner design. It, it, it's really good design and and efficient and burns hot. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. And um, and uh, good luck with your build. And if I could help you out at all, just just let me know. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.